All right. So this is the talk of my, the title of my talk now. And we can all it, it Lex is Lex Solcher is the one who gave me the idea. So try to use as many Latin Latinate verb or words as I could. Um, so yes. This, we're going to talk about a multilateral, asynchronous, bidirectional synchronization of wikis. But before we do that, I guess I need to turn this on. Before we do that, let's talk about me. Who am I? I know most of you know, but I'm going to tell you again. I'm a really great guy. I was the first and only Bugmeister of Wikimedia. They've changed the title. Um, I'm a former member of the MediaWiki release team uh, and founding member of, of MediaWiki stakeholder. By the way, can people see this or do I need to switch to black? I think this is good, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you for your help. Um, all right. So, what, it, what, what problem am I trying to solve here? We, have, we want to share knowledge, we want to share wiki pages, templates, etc. across multiple wikis. We want to do this even when the wikis are not always connected to the internet, and maybe not even always in communication with each other. Uh, we don't want to share, we might, well, maybe we do, but usually we don't want to share everything. Um, we just want to share one namespace or one set of pages and, and be able to do it that way. We don't want to interrupt the regular use of the wiki. We want people to be able to edit their own wiki. Um, but we still want those edits and the shared parts to be propagated across to the other wikis when they become connected. Um, we need incremental updates. We, we don't want to copy the whole wiki every time. And we need a way to merge edits from different wikis into our wiki. Uh, yeah, so like I said, there's share templates across a group of wikis. Uh, wiki EM, Wiki Emergency Medicine, Wiki, wiki M, I'm sorry. Uh, emergency Medicine wants to, um, I, I was talking with the founder about this, or I guess he's the founder. Anyway, he's the, this is a picture of him there that you can't see. But uh, they have hospitals using their wiki, but then they found hospitals were putting like doctor's schedules and stuff like that that's particular to their hospital into the emergency medicine wiki, which is, they don't want that, you know. But they want these hospitals to have the emergency medical information, uh, you know, details and procedures and stuff like that. So. The, the idea, idea then that, that they, they have, have now is to share, somehow share that out. And I have not, I talked to him about this, but I haven't really tried to get him to use it. Um, and so it'll let, this way we can set up an EM namespace or whatever, and that will be the stuff that's on uh, emergency medicine that is shared across all the wikis, but then the hospital can have free reign over all the rest of the wiki. Um, so, oh, they also have a, a app on the phone, and they push out wiki content to the app. Uh, they initially, when they did this, they looked around to see how they could push out content, and um, they were pointed to KiwiWiks. Uh, they didn't want to use KiwiWiks, though, because it ends up there's no way to push out only diffs. You have to push out the whole uh, wiki every time, which is not really efficient over mobile networks. Um, so now, they, now they've written their own protocol, but using this method, I think they could come up with something. It's a more standard and it works very well. It's well tested. Um, oh, and one other case. These, both of these are from my friends in Houston. Uh, NASA, uh, from the EVA team, they, they created all these procedures about how to perform 
EVAs and what tools you need on extravehicular activities. I think that's what it's called. Um, and and so those those things or those procedures are all used on the space station, the ISS. Um, the ISS, though, is not always connected, and it has very limited bandwidth, so they can't. They can, but it's kind of wonky to connect to the wiki down in Houston from the space station up in, you know, there's a lot of latency. So they want to put a wiki local to the, uh, the ISS. But, you know, on a spacewalk, uh, someone might discover, oh, this procedure is wrong. It needs to be updated. Um, so where do they update it? Do they update it in the wiki on the space station, or, or do, they have, do they have to wait till they get back to Houston? Um, which may be a while. Um, so yeah, local to the ISS wiki would increase the information availability, availability, and using this. What what what's the what's the phrase again, Lex? Asynchronous. I, I don't even remember the title of my talk. <laughs> Using this method, we can you know synchronize the two wikis and allow the astronauts, the, up, the people doing the spacewalk, to update their wiki and allow the EVA guys on the ground to update their wiki, and they'll still be able to share information. Um, and, and yes, uh, as a last example, let's just say someone, for whatever reason, they want to edit the HP code on a wiki. So I have a demonstration of this. So yes, the solution to all of these is uh, a MediaWiki remote for Git. And this is something that was written, or at least started, I believe in 2012, maybe 2010 by a group of students. It's in the contrib directory of, of Git core itself. Um, so, but it hasn't been updated in a long time. And I was, uh, I've been talking with Lex about this over time. And, you know, we both wanted to try this. And finally at Wikimania, I got the time to sit down and really bang something out. Um, and fix all the bugs that I found. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Anyway, Git allows contributions from multiple sources. It, it automatically performs merges. Um, and for things that can't be merged, uh, it, it, there are tools available to help you with that. So you have, you have in the simple scenario, you have two wikis. You have, and I didn't put this on a chart, and I'm sorry. You have this one, you have yourself down here, maybe not a wiki, could be just a Git repository, then you have this other one. You want to sync them all, you want to sync them all together. So anyway, uh, Twitter fail well here. The, uh, the uh, code being demonstrated is in the alpha stage, and what I'm about to do uh, may fail. So here we are. Um, yeah, so, so let, let, let's look at the, the, uh, if I can find my mouse. Do I have a mouse? Probably have one. That's not how I do it. Um, hang on. <laughs> oh, there's my mouse. Let's see. Sorry. I don't know what keys I'm pressing here. Something's going wonky. There we go. So yes, click here. That's where I want to go. Okay, so I did a I did a shallow clone of Semantic Media Wiki and imported, you know, the last fifty revisions into this wiki. Uh, and I also wrote uh, a small little shim. To, so I could tag these pages as PHP code, and then uh, the Axe editor would be, you know, loaded up whenever a page is properly. Let me log in. Is properly set up. So 
So yes, now you go edit. Um, I, oh yeah, I, let, let me show you what I've already done on this. Uh, we can, yeah, we have added the bogus option here. So that just adds an option, allows you to pass something bogus and then it quits. Um, so a simple thing. Um, so instead of editing the code, I'll just show you how the code looks, the editor looks when it's loaded. Um, then I'll pull the, uh, see look, it's a lovely little editor. Um, okay, so, and, and you can get, you know, it'll tell you when you make errors and stuff like that in the code. Uh, anyway, um, what am I doing? I'm going to show you how this works once I find my terminal. Where's my terminal? I guess I, no? I guess I have to start one. No? Right there. Let's see. Um, so, so, to get to, to, to get, get to, to my, to S use SSH on this network, I had to set up Tor, so I'm hacking the network here. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've set up the, the Git remote for media, or the media with your remote for Git. Um, let's see. I'm pull, do I pull it now? Where am I? Oh, that's, that's wrong. I'm in the wrong directory. Here we go. So this is what this is what the directory. No, this is not the right wiki. I'm sorry. This is the next demonstration. I I apologize for my lack of preparation here. So here, here we are in the uh, checkout. You can see it's a regular, it's a regular source code checkout of, of Semantic Media Wiki. Um, let's go look at that. Uh, go make sure it's all there. It's kind of slow, but anyway, tell us it's already up to date. Uh, so, oh, yeah. yes. So, so the, the uh, let me find, it's in my history, hang on. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm going to call the script with the bogus, uh, new bogus parameter, and you can see, there, print it out, this is bogus. But look, there's no new line, so let me add that real quick. Uh, yeah, we'll go down here, I have to find the code, right there. So yeah, there's no, there's no new line at the end of it, and I hate that. I like new lines, because then I can see, you know, I can see, separate the, separate the output from the, uh, from the, from the rest of the <coughs> so yeah put fix new on right here um save that and there we are let's go go back to our <coughs> Go back to our terminal here. We'll pull it in. We get pull. There we go. No, don't say we're already up to date. Dad gum. This is a failure of the demonstration. I'm going to sweat. Uh, oh, I know I did wrong. I think. So yes, I didn't pull from the right thing. I got to pull from pull. And, and, it's 
working. It's working. It's slow. This is why I only synchronize this one page. There. Uh, now we can look at the source on the on the page. Sorry, if I can spell. What is it? Data. And you can see where. See, not there, not there. Not there. Right there, focus. See, we now have two new lines at the end. Right here. Ooh. All right. That shows that, yeah, we pulled it in successfully. We run it now. And what happens? We should get a clearer error message. This is bogus. Yes. Yay. It worked. Um, so, yeah, now I'm, I, I've uh, forked the semantic media wiki thing, so you don't need to worry about this showing up in the production code. But now I'm going to push that out to GitHub. Oh, that's not right. And that's not right either. Or, how do you spell origin? Is that right? Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. You ever try to type in front of an audience? So yeah, now you can see I pushed it. Let's go look at what that looks like on GitHub real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, there it is. Uh, this is this is the uh, last commit. Uh, let's see. If I reload this, it should show us. No. Maybe not. Why? Okay. It's fair. Yeah, yeah, I think this is. Oh, oh no, no, you're right. This is not the right remote. We need to look at the source. This, by the way, this is where the code is. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, So yeah, now we should see. Uh, yeah, see, you can see the last commit there is fix new line. Uh, we can see the send maintenance. Da da da. Re rebuild data. Fix new line. And you could see it down here, but I, I should probably show you the diff. But there it is, right there. Anyway. That's editing code on the wiki. Yay. I'm sure we're all thrilled. Uh, we all like to use wikis so much, we just couldn't wait to edit code in the wiki. Right? Right. Okay, good. Um, okay, so let me return to that down. Just click on this again. So I have set up a, uh, I've set up a copy of the MediaWiki stakeholders website. And uh, so you can see the original, where's the original? Uh, maybe I should just type. Here's the original. Um, I've asked my son to make an edit on a page here while I do this uh, so that we can see an example of what happens when there's a conflict. Uh, let's see. Sandbox. There it is. That's the page we want to use. Um, so uh, there, 
I, I have not yet pushed that page out to the, the copy. So you go to get MediaWiki slash MWC. All right. So here's this is a. Uh, by the way, I want everyone to notice this lovely mirror icon that I spent a lot of time on back there. So. Um, yeah, so we're going to we're gonna hopefully have a demonstration here of a, dem of a broken or a conflict, an edit conflict. Uh, but first, let, let's see, get, remove, the, let's get the get, oh, by the way, I have not yet delved, delved into any of the technical details of how all this works, but you can see there the, uh, the remote is, for wiki is MediaWiki colon colon and then the URL. Um, so let's see, let's pull from wiki into master. One page found. There we are, pulled in the page. Let's push from our thing, push to mirror uh, three, I think is what I called it. Let's push master out there. No. Um, I think we have a conflict and I didn't even do this yet. Uh, oh wait, did you edit this? Okay, well, hey, it, it's a conflict. We're demonstrating what happens when you have a conflict. Uh, oh, pull your three. So, wait, did it? It's going to just work the other way, isn't it? No, I don't know why. Yeah, I, I think I think that's actually not a conflict right here. I think there's something else actually going on. But let's and and it is it is. I had to learn a lot more about the underneath things going on in Git than I knew or wanted to know, and yeah, that didn't work either. Anyway. Let's see. Let, let's see what the diff is between mirror. By the way, I'm almost done. Mirror master. Oh no, of course. I know it's, look, it's painful for me to type up here. I know it's painful for you to watch me type. Um, anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. It works sometimes. It's alpha code. That's my excuse. Um, let's see if maybe something magically changed here. I don't think so, but nope, nothing magically changed. I don't know what's going on. It would take me too long to figure it out. Uh, oh, yeah. I have another slide. What? Yeah, yeah. You're sitting there confused. What's, what? And then you stumble upon the answer and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find my slides again. I can't find them. Could have prepared better. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. Not there. Not there. Let's just 
going to go down here then. You should really go look at the background images I have on all my slides. It's beautiful. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, thanks to my toolbox, which is Emacs org mode for this presentation, Emacs org mode and reveal.js. Um, there's the code, there's my weblog, there's my Twitter. You can't see the image here, but it's a question mark butterfly. I didn't even know such a thing existed. Um, anyway, so any questions? Besides, why can't you get that to work, Mark? I think we just said that it's outside of the community. Word, word, and go to the city now. Right. Right, I, I had looked, you know, not, I'm not while well, looking at this, but I had seen his federated wiki work and I was, I was like, yeah, I can see where he's going with this, but yeah, it would be nice. Any other questions? No. Just really, so how do I, I mean, explain to you know, the, 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 the basic, basic idea. idea. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's storing, storing every page in the file system. system. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So, then, right. so then when you say the page, you can make the corresponding change, change to, to the, 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 the file. file. Of course, no. No. No, no this is all asynchronous, asynchronous remember. Um, um, it, it doesn't happen. happen. <coughs> uh, what's, what's happening is we've told Git how to use the MediaWiki API. So it goes and queries MediaWiki and says, what new pages do you have? And downloads them um, and stores them in whatever Git's internal you know, revision store is. Um, yeah, so it's offline. Uh, there was someone else here who was working on uh, Cebu, Cebu. Who's working on yeah, Git to do, to do like, like what you're talking about and, and does it and basically commits revisions to disk right, right away. And then, and then you can point Git, Git directly at the, at the, at the, at the wiki, wiki and check out a page. Yes. Yes, that, that was the bi-directional part. Yes. Yes. Uh, there are two, there, I have not looked at any of the tools. There are GUI tools that do conflict resolution. You could just do, you know, your regular conflict resolution which, you know, Git will tell you, oh, there's a conflict, and then you have to go edit the page. You can use merge strategies. You can say, okay, I, I, want, I want to merge these two wikis, but I, if there's a conflict, just keep what I have and ignore what he has. Um, or you could do the other way around. I don't care what I have, use what they have. Um, so, yeah, there, Git has tons of strategies for dealing with that stuff. Oh, one more, one more. Uh, just, just for this, 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 this is an extension to, to, to be integrated into it. No. No. No, no this, this is an extension, an extension to get itself. itself. Uh, uh, you, basically, basically, you go, go in, 
download, download the code, code, you check out the code, you put the Perl scripts in a couple of places, yeah. and, and, and then you point, point you tell Git, hey, you can, you can look, look here for other remotes. remotes. Yeah. And yeah. Hmm? Right. right. Uh, you can you go you go in. You can you can do this all from the command line. You just say get uh, get remote add mirror or get remote add media wiki colon colon then your wiki. Um, and and yes, that that is one of the advantages this has over. Uh, the, the other solution that I mentioned, which is it does not take any mod, it does not require any modification to the wiki at all. Because um, Git no understands how to talk to the wiki as long as the API is open. No. Yeah, you can see the history of the page. You can go. Uh, Git has the same concept of the history of a page that MediaWiki has. Well, I, I shouldn't say same because there are bugs and stuff that need to be worked out. But yeah, so you could actually see uh, Jane edited this, performed this edit. You could. That's not there now. It's a bug now. But you could. I talk to Nat, the people that I, the friends that I have at NASA. I have, and they said this sounded like a good idea, but I have not shown them this yet. Because I did most of this in the weeks prior to this uh, demonstration. All right, yay, we're done. End of the conference.